Alaska can hang. I, I think Alaska can more than hang. I think if you live in Alaska, you got to be tough, right? Like, I feel like, like living is different in a place that's that harsh. It is a harsh environment. Zell game, huh? Who picked this? Was this a chat redeem? Oh, wait, I don't have those. That's yuck. Ah, uh, shoot. Honestly, Pacific Northwest is not my dream, though. A little bit rainier than I like. The gray days kind of uh, get me. I think, uh, honestly, I really liked... I, I really liked gold... Uh, <laughs> Golder? Golden and Boulder and Denver. I liked Colorado quite a bit. I hear that Colorado, some of the some of those cities have like the most sunny days of anywhere in the U.S. That sounds like my like I know it snows up there and whatnot, but I the, the time that I spent up there, I was like, for some reason, this feels like a place that I might like to be. I used to live in Colorado. It was fantastic. Loved it. Yeah. Of, of all the places I've traveled, I never really got that. I didn't get the sense that I really wanted to live in New York or Philadelphia or, you know, I've, I've I haven't been all around the country, but I, I've been from. San Diego to Minnesota, North Dakota as a kid taking road trips. So driven in my life from the bottom left of the map of the U.S. to the top middle of the map of the U.S. Uh, so I've, I've been through, you know, all the states in between there. I've been through North Dakota. I spent a fair amount of time in North Dakota, Minnesota, because I had family out there. Of all the places that I've been, the one spot that I visited that I was like, I could really see myself living here was Colorado. I was just like, I, I really, for some reason, something about, I'm not even the outdoorsy kind. Like, I'm not going to be out there skiing. I'm not going to be out there stomping around in the snow. I'm just going to be inside. I haven't been everywhere. No, 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 no. Not even close. I barely traveled internationally, and I'd love to do a lot more of that. But all I'm saying is of all the places that I've traveled and visited, both here and international, Colorado is the one that most caught my eyes. Like, I bet I would like it here. I did like my time in Puerto Vallarta with my aunt. She lives down there. I don't know that I want to live in PV necessarily, but I did enjoy that there. That that That's probably the place I like second most of the places I've been. Nick's aunt and uncle live in Alaska training search and rescue dogs. That is rad. You're in Alabama. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, Alabama. It's a lot of humidity, correct? Or am I wrong? I don't know. I, I, I think... Alabama's like a hot place, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Granted, I grew up in a hot place. I grew up in inland San Diego in a valley where it routinely in the summers was 100 to 110. Like seeing seeing 115 would not have been that. Nah, that would have been a little unusual, but it, it usually was triple digits. I, I'm used to a dry triple digit summer, not a humid one because it wasn't very humid out there. But North Dakota is a frozen hole. Source, I live in North Dakota. Yeah, I, I've, uh, I've mentioned that we went and visited family quite a few times, but we never went back and visited family in the winter. Yeah, no, there might have been a reason for that. What am I, why am I, I don't like these shops. I don't know what it is that this game, what is this game doing to me? I don't, I don't lock, no, I don't lock that. It's not that good, I don't care. Oh yeah, oh, oh, Puerto Vallarta. PV is where Santi's from, Mexico? Alabama sure is a state. It's fairly humid, but not particularly hot. Weather is fine here, though. You prefer the weather here to PNW except for the tornadoes. But everything else... Oh, okay. <laughs> You're like, I just... I gotta... I got... <laughs> I gotta get top left. I just gotta get top left. This bottom right stuff, it ain't doing it for me anymore. I gotta get top left. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's true, bam. Well, uh, we can't talk about triple digits uh, when Tim's around, right? Tim is... Tim's Las Vegas. You want to talk about triple digits. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take this XP. Somehow I haven't taken a hit. These baby roots are masking my board's problem, which is that it's very bad. But the baby roots are masking that for the moment. Spent two weeks in Dana Point, California last summer. Can definitely see myself living there. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, noblest. Uh, of, of the places... So of the places that I visited, I would love to... Honestly, I really loved... Santa Barbara or uh, maybe Laguna Niguel, but these are, you know, California coastal towns that a million dollars will buy you a hole in the wall property, right? You need to have millions upon millions of dollars if you want to afford anything that looks halfway decent to start. Anything that it doesn't have entirely fixer upper written into its DNA. But that that's a that's definitely I visiting out there, I was like, man, I would I would love to live in Laguna Niguel, Santa Barbara. One of those like 
Southern California coastal towns. It's not one of the major ones like Los Angeles or San Diego. One of the, the slightly smaller ones. Love those towns. Love visiting. They're beautiful. Debating if I do anything else here. Problem is I don't have another good aligned character. I was debating dropping the roots and trading up for the good witch, but I don't have another good aligned character to really take advantage of that. So it kind of is a eh play. Meh, I'm just going to roll. All right, whatever. Love the dry weather. Can't deal with the dry anymore. Yeah. Not even sure. Tripling would help in some Oh, no, wait. I missed a strategy talk. Alabama is one of the states of the Union for sure. Oh, I didn't know that fire oak. It's interesting. Lived just outside of Santa Barbara for about a year growing up, and man, I loved it there. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It is gorgeous. Oh, La Jolla is super cool. La Jolla is. <laughs> La Jolla is the most expensive part of San Diego. I don't. I, I, have, I have to imagine La Jolla is pricier than even like uh, Rancho Santa Fe and, you know, some of the more inland ritzy places that the, the fanciest beach community of all has to be the most expensive property in San Diego. Loy is, Loy is great. It is ritzy. It is, it is fancy, fancy. Like you're going there. There's going to be premium shopping options. And if you want to shop those shopping options, you won't pay. It's, it's, it's that kind of joint, but man, it's a, it's a nice, beautiful. Well, I mean, with as much money as there is out there, of course it's a beautiful, but it's a beautiful, beautiful coastal city. Absolutely ritzy, <laughs> ritzy and gorgeous and fun. My aunt lived out there for a little while. She lived out there for a couple of years and then eventually decided she didn't want to pay the rent on her two bedroom apartment that she had for a while out there. I'm going to take the map. Let's see if I can just Buy a couple of fours and get an early six. Kind of ideally, looks like we're looking for monster book. Monster, monster. Monster, monster. You've got about three feet of snow on the line. Uh, we're, we're getting up into like 80s and 90s again out here already. Granted, I know it's Texas, so that's not that nuts, but yeah, we're, we're getting warm again already. Wait, I'm five. Oh, because I got plus two XP. Duh. Uh, we could do the old one, two, three approach here. The old boom and the boom and the boom type situation. Type type situation over here. Not that I really relish buying dwarves in this spot, but hey. It's fine. No, 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 no. I meant to bench that and then, yeah. Yeah, this is what I meant to do. I'm going to save the rest of this. The money is relevant for other reasons. So, whatever. I could Earthquake just to get a buff on the Weaver. I might I might do that just to get the buff on the Weaver here. I don't need the Gruff for anything. Getting a little bit more attack on the Weaver is relevant, I think. If I never see snow again in my life, it'll be too soon. So much snow growing up in Nevada. Interesting. I believe you. Find even the driest desert to pale in comparison to elevation. I was in Idaho for a week at 7,000 feet, and I'm going to New Mexico at 9,000. End up with a bloody nose within two days. Yeah. Yeah? It's a good point. I, I liked Colorado where I was at, and it was not as high as the ones you're talking about. It was only like 5,200 feet. You know, they, they call it the Mile High City, which is 5,200-something feet. So it's like nearly exactly a mile high, right? But even up there... That elevation, you notice, it has an impact of some sort. I got a lot of extra gold out of this, uh, this greedy. Oh, we got so much extra gold out of this greedy. Absolutely nuts. Nuts. Absolutely bust out. Oh, we're in the same lobby? Oh, okay. Let's go. Watch out for Fire Oak. Fire Oak like 20 me or something. I don't know. Let me 
go on. Excuse me? Three, 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 two. Masquerade ball. Excuse me? I, I, excuse me? If you're not going to take this seriously, I'm just going to leave. <laughs> Masquerade ball, okay? Don't play with me. Don't, don't, don't play. Don't play. Don't play. That's all I'm saying is don't play with me. I'm like right on the verge of a seven. I didn't think I'd be chasing that via angry. And yet here we are. <laughs> I'm going to take that too. Let me go on like a blister in the sun. Go away. Come here. I think, I think maybe, Shush. I think maybe. I don't know. If I were to become more serious about pursuing a life in Colorado, <laughs> I probably would do a little bit of research first. All right, we tie. It's convol- Oh, well, actually, that was not a guaranteed tie. I could have lost by one health. There was a hit there. I'm glad I didn't get that hit. I'm glad I got the tie hit. Oh, we go up. Mmm, kind of want a seven more than a six now. I'm going to be honest. If I got a lordy, I'd want this. Yeah, no. I don't have a lordy, so I don't know if I want that. I don't know. I'm taking it anyway. We're... Oh, well, we got a lordy. We're, we're approaching the point where... Where the angries can't really do stuff anymore. Granted, now that I got Lordy, that changed things. But we're approaching the point where 19 and 23 health is not enough to value trade and get actual board buff value. So I spent a lot of time at Copper in Summit, Colorado. That's 10,500 feet at the base, 13,000 feet at the summit. That is, yeah, that's, <laughs> in my estimation, at least two miles high. Three is the max. That's true. Wow, uh, you weren't prepared with your world tree only and your court wizard. You were not prepared. Jeez. The Lordy showed up at the right time. It's 5-0, oh, yeah, I'm plus three experience. They weren't ready for a uh, six board with dwarves. It's too much. Too much. All right, uh, well. Uh... Hmm. If I could triple that I would, this turn, I, I would. I, I'd, I'll i collect trees, you know what I mean? Like, if Ashwood Elm shows up, I'm buying it. I'm no fool. I know who... I know which hero I'm playing. The Lordy's great for right now. All right, two Lordies is great for right now. I guess we save that. We're not playing that again. We take that. Eh, do we save those? I kind of don't care about them that much. And this is a Robin... Nah, I want that flipping. The Echoes get more stats. It actually kind of gets a little awkward here. I'm not convinced that the board is that much bigger, but the two Echoes are pretty chonky. Yeah. I'm not convinced that this is that much bigger than the board I had before because I had dropped a Dwarf to add the extra Lordy. Like, I'm, it, 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 it's an extra Lordy. It's an extra Lordy, don't get me wrong. But in some regards, playing down one Dwarf slot is a little weird. Oh, uh... I don't know about chasing that. It seems really hard, and it seems like it's not going either of the two directions we have lined up. What is this? Are you kidding me with this right here? I'm taking this. I'm not taking those. We have, we're, 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 we're either dwarves or trees from here, most likely. Rather be trees than dwarves, but we have a lot of dwarves right now. Uh, crap. 
I was thinking I might, you know, do something with this here treasure map at some point. I, 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 I had a, I had a, just this, this feeling that there might be something to do with it. <laughs> Want to have all these cheap characters and whatnot. Apparently not. Eh, it's cosmetic for now. Oh, wait. This should be in. Okay. Well, my echoes are looking to chew on the ghost a little. Oh, 100 sword horde. They were looking to find their way to a good boy, probably, with that. With the court wizard in the back there. Threw down some summons to get... Uh, they couldn't get two things in the... Yeah, it's awkward what they ended up having to do. That's two early level 7 boards in this lobby that... Couldn't really take advantage of having early level 7s. Sometimes it happens. All right, uh, more dwarf, more tree. More dwarf, more tree. Tree and dwarf, tree and dwarf. Hello, Hercules. I keep seeing you. <laughs> Got a couple of sixes we could hit. Actually, I have three sixes we could hit. Uh, I, I got I got no problem with pairs. I got uh, pairs. I got them. I got them. Now triples, different story. For real? It's not like this has been a high roll for the dwarves either. It's not like all the dwarves in the like it, it, the lordy showed up fast. Don't get me wrong. I I it's just the only treasure I've made is map, and there's nothing else I can really do here. Every six I get offered is junk. It's been like three turns, four turns with this treasure map and a pair of angries and now, now four pairs. It's been a lot of turns with pairs and no triples and it, I feel like it was reasonable to expect that I might have tripled by now when all of the things cost three. But that, but that's not giving me any other good pivots either. This isn't a permanent dog over here. That's just a Robin Wood. <sighs> so frustrating. Just get first with no treasures, you coward. Yeah, this is the this is the annoying part. This is the part where it feels like I should be a little bit more ahead. I shouldn't have to be sweating this Jormungandr. And I'm kind of not, I guess, because the Echoes are still big and the Lordies are still... We're, we're only about a couple of fights away from these Lordies not being as effective. Honestly, we've about reached that point. That, uh... That Oni is pretty spooky. Yeah, we lost. Yeah, there it is. All right, we reached that point. Where not hitting is not going to work anymore. We're going to die if we don't hit something soon. This turn. This turn, really. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but you know what? Whatever. Take uh Okay. Okay. Things changed. I, just, I needed to hit something. I just did. So can I do something more with that than what I've done already? Hmm. That's pretty good. Need a court wizard now. Need a few things now, but seems pretty strong. All right. Congrats. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Thanks. <laughs> uh, that'll look. Complaining about missing until you hit is its part of the strategy. Basically, I have three Echo Woods on the back. This burn beard gets pretty big, I think. Echoes for the win, not just the tie, the win. Wow, the echoes were there. Jeez. <laughs> ah, boom. Uh, these are pretty good if I could triple them up. Since we got the ghost fight, I'm going to be a little greedy and buy a Wombats. Uh, Golden Lordy. I think I'd rather roll, uh, you know, just with everything being so, uh, so cheap because I'm Zell. The rolls are pretty tempting. And buying that is like a, you know, a line on a sea terror, basically. Because I already had one. That's pretty cool. Uh, you know what? Y'all feel like doing a little hoeing? Hi ho! Oh. It's crafty. 
<laughs> so cheap because of Zell. I've watched many streamers die because of that. I think I'm gonna just keep this in because it makes the echo so much bigger. Ah, I'm triple slaying. Ah. This uh, they, they they had a solid starter for a sleigh board there. Body moving, body moving. Six treasure, let's go. Pandies, mimic, owl. I mean, this is a pretty owlable board. We're getting into the top two against oh a spooky spooky board. <sighs> mimic does nothing. Yeah, it's the only one that does anything. Actually, strangely, of that batch. Now, if I made another treasure, the Mimic might have been better, but it's the only one that adds any stats to the board this turn. Ah, oh, maybe the Mimic was better. Body moving. Body moving. Body moving. Body moving. It's all kind of in service of the Echo Wood. These burn beards. Although it is kind of tempting to boom. It's fairly tempting to boom. All right, we'll boom. We'll boom. If I could triple the Lordy, then I could drop the burn beard in. I think I'm going to be pretty okay here. I don't know. The, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Daryl had a scary board last time. Likely to be scarier this time. You're praying? It's going to be a battle for sure. Uh, no, I don't think the ninth book rando spells are going to be quite as useful as the boom buff. So no, I say no to that. I can see why you would want some more summons because ninth book can do stuff, but I just don't think rando spells are... We're just kind of hoping to get like one pigomorph out of the handful of things that we do generate, you know, or two or 12 or 700 pigos or, you know, a million pigomorphs, basically. However many pigomorphs exist, we're hoping for more than that. Oh, we don't have a feather. Oh, we tied anyway. Wow. No feather either side, and then we just tied. I got a few ways to get bigger here. That's one of them. Wow. Uh, actually, that's a lot bigger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Poison apple. The nice thing about this without, like, this version of what I'm doing with no court wizards is I don't really have to worry about protecting X, Y, or Z thing from combat. Like, it's, there's a lot of redundancy built into this thing. This is a giant number of numbers. <laughs> I don't know how many numbers this is, but it's a lot of them. Building a forest on his world tree. That is correct. That is correct. Well, that won't slay. That will slay. But it won't survive. Oh, yeah. I think I just made things incredibly difficult from here. <laughs> I'm not sure that I've locked everything up from here. You know what I mean? I don't I don't think that this has won me the game outright, but well that's I mean that's Daryl in chat, Krima. Daryl Daryl is here right now, battling it out against this hellish nightmare I've constructed. <laughs> oh God. Daryl. Ah, it is to be like this. Us locked into combat. Duking it out. You against the world tree. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, there's a high hope. I mean, look, Daryl Daryl was having a really fun game. Up, uh, still having a really fun game. Daryl's got a lot of upgraded empresses. I don't think it's over. I don't think it's over. I just think that my board is really 
painful to fight. <laughs> it's like really painful. Because the funny thing is my board is fighting fairly fair. There's no ranged on it. It's all melee. My board is entirely melee, except for the fact that it's got, you know, a bazillion stats and a double spells every time something dies. Everything's an upgraded monster book. Oh god, and then I yeah. <laughs> Now, the nice thing about it, though, is that most of my stuff is slayable on the first hit. So you don't, like, whiff on your slay every single time. But then after that, after the good boy pops, then it becomes much more painful from there. Smart to get the echo up front. Absorb several of my things, probably. Until my echo gets to go. Oh, wow. Oh, God. <laughs> I just, I don't... I don't have words. I don't know what to say. Is oh well, you got a box though. Okay, hold on, hold on. I've been I've been in the shoes of the person fighting up against the super annoying world tree board, and I know how it feels. Is all I'm saying. That's that's. I'm having emotions based on. I'm having I'm having thoughts based on the emotions I may be feeling in this moment. I, I want to know what's in that. What, you know, let's let. I want to know what's in the box. There was a box. Oh no, it was Grail. Oh lord, it's just still throw so you can have your Grail turn. I feel like you just <laughs> sell board so you can have Grail. Well, no, but then I just die. Nah, we're we're finishing this out. We're finishing this out. I added uh, an extra nightmare to this now. One extra free nightmare for you. <laughs> Got a, a nightmare over here called Court Wizard for you. Is, uh, yeah, it didn't do much, honestly. Well, it kind of did. <laughs> oh, we could have tied there. Wow. We could have tied there and you would have grilled it. That would have, oh, okay, GG. Yeah. Sorry to Tria. Sorry to Mimic Ninth Book Tria. Sorry to, well, at least I didn't like summons you too. And I only put Court Wizard in for one turn. That last fight was very close. That last fight could have been a tie. There was a 50-50 at the end that hits, your echo hits my burn beard. We're going again. And then you're not chatting for the next 65 seconds. <laughs> Because you're busy hitting a roll key and buying stuff. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, I don't want to do it to you, but also when you... I, I didn't want to do the world tree to the lobby. I didn't want to do the world tree to anybody. But, you know, I was things weren't going perfect, so I take. And then I didn't want to do the ninth book to you specifically. But you just kind of... When you're world tree and you take a ninth book, it's what you do.